Hey friends, uh, Chef Wainaina here. This over two pound whole red snapper roasted in the oven. It's moist, it's full of flavors from the marinade, and it's a perfect centerpiece for your dinners any day of the week. Let's prep for this amazing dinner with just a few ingredients, and I promise you, it's going to be delicious within no time. So for our whole roasted red snapper, first things first, we are going to make a very simple uh, marinade of, of cumin, coriander and fennel, some chili powder, salt and pepper, rice wine vinegar, some olive oil, lemon juice and lemon zest, cilantro, scallions all chopped and processed in a small blender. That's a beautiful marinade right there. So I got my beautiful red snapper here. It's already cleaned, it's scaled, looks very beautiful. This is almost two and a half pounds. So all I need to do with this, I'm going to take some of these things here. Take this, just trim off some of this. I'm going to make some slashes on the fish so that it absorbs the marinade. So just make some diagonal slashes here, just a few of them. Nice, deep, turn the fish around, do the same thing. I'll move this fish to a sheet pan here, season it, salt, some pepper, black pepper. And then I'm going to take our marinade here, and slather it, put some more here, drop inside, add some more. Then working with your hands, just make sure that you put it in, in the slashes that you made. You can definitely use a brush. I love using my hands. They are the perfect tools as long as you keep them nice and clean. So this looks messy as always, but messy is delicious. So I'm going to marinate this for about half an hour and then in the meanwhile I'm going to prep the aromatic that will go at the bottom of the pan. So to go with our fish, I also have some vine ripe uh, tomatoes here, some beautiful tomatoes. I have one fennel here. I have some peppers here. I'm going to cut these. All these will go at the bottom of the pan that will roast our whole roasted snapper fish. Go ahead and prep this. I'm going to use half of the fennel. Half an onion, red onion. Some garlic here. This will roast and sweeten. Take the tips off. Once the oil here is hot, I'm going to onto the pan carefully. All I want to do is just to get some color. So just after a couple minutes, all I want to do is turn the fish. And just a little sear on it. And then all I'm going to do, is I'm just going to remove it. And I'm going to start this vegetable to soften them just so slightly, add everything onto the pan. Fennel, the peppers, the red onions, garlic, season this, salt, pepper. Our vegetables here have nicely softened, giving them just a head start because they are tough, they might not be able to cook fully. 
uh, by the time the fish is done. It's going to take just about 20 minutes in a preset 425 Fahrenheit oven. Carefully lay the fish right on top of the vegetables. Spread them nicely. I'm going to take a little bit of our marinade here. Just a little bit. Just brush it on top. And then you'll also notice that I also fill the cavity of the fish with some lemon, cilantro, the penoprons. That will help fish steam into the inside and also absorb all those flavors. Put some uh, ginger garlic on top here. Then just to finish off, our vine ripe tomatoes, I'm going to lay them here. These are going to act as our beautiful garnish and then they are also going to roast with the peppers. Just drizzle some oil on them and some oil on the fish. So after about 20-25 minutes, our whole red snapper is all done. Time to finish it up. Nicely blistered vine tomatoes. Drizzle it with some uh, olive oil here. Squeeze in some lemon juice here. Spread some uh, cilantro here. Some of these fennel fronds here to garnish the fish. There you have it. Nice, very beautiful dish. Set this on the table just as it is for everybody to dig in and enjoy. Taste it. Mm. So there you have it, our flavorful whole red snapper roasted in the oven about 20-25 minutes. Serve this with some rice. If you are Kenyan like me, ugali is perfect with this, chapati, anything that you have will go with this. A perfect addition to your dinner meals for the week. Thank you so much guys for watching as always. Just remember to like, comment and subscribe if it was your first time here today. As always, thank you very much and I will see you soon.